Yay! <laughs> Hello! Hello, Tamara. How are you today? I'm excellent. How are you, Natalie? I'm great. <laughs> so welcome to the Think Yourself Academy. This episode is on self-sabotage. Self <laughs> <laughs> do you do that ever? Do you do oh. the opposite of what you know you should do? Nope. Never. <laughs> Not, never done that before. Of course. Yeah, I think we all do. That's the thing. We all do. That's the sure. thing. It's an unconscious response. It just happens. And it depends on how we are wired. The key is to know and to have the strategy to what do you do when it happens and how do you catch yourself and how do you pre-program yourself or, or what do you do with this information? Because it's, it's all information, really. Um, when you, when you self-sabotage, when you catch yourself doing it, that's exactly when you want to pay attention and say, oh, what, 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 what's, going, what's on? going on here? Exactly. Right? Like, what's going on? Why, why am I doing this? Yeah, yeah. What's, yeah. what's causing this? What's, what's behind coming? it? Exactly. So the first um, video we're doing today is on the first cause of self-sabotage. So cause number one is the intention behind the behavior. So very often self-sabotage is caused by something that in, inside ourselves um, something that we want or something that we could benefit from or we have a good intention, right? Just like good intention towards like maybe a teenager who starts smoking. Yeah. Right? And they know it's a bad, a bad thing to do. They know it's bad for their health. Yet at the same time, they start and we, want, we often wonder why. What's behind that? Yeah, and the intention behind that behavior very often as a teenager is because they want to belong. They want to be part of the team or be part of make friends or yeah. be cool or so they have a um something that it does for them so the very first thing you want to ask yourself is um what is your intention behind the behavior so what it is that you're doing that could cause for you to do this behavior i was working with a man who uh, wanted to quit smoking and um so he did on his own uh, from two packs a day to one cigarette a day. And I didn't have anything to do with it. Um, and then after this uh, few months of smoking this one cigarette per day and couldn't quit that <laughs> one, cigarette, one cigarette, that's when um, we worked together. Uh, now, we found out after a few sessions that his father had passed away. And his father was a smoker. And that was his connection with his father. He had not accepted that his father was no longer there and he wanted to stay in touch and keep that connection. So knowing the intention behind the behavior, now that he knew the reason why, what, what it was triggering for him, knowing that intention behind the behavior made him be able to actually uh, fulfill his real desire of connecting with his dad without the smoking. So at night, when he would get a cigarette craving, he would just open a photo album, look at pictures of his dad, talk to him or whatever his belief is and and then the cigarette craving would go away so that was the strategy that he developed to deal with and cope with that intention right he wanted to quit the smoking and he was able to come up with an alternative way of meeting that yeah right? exactly and fulfilling that connection uh -huh. with his dad so what about the kit kat lady i love oh, this story about the lady who works for nestle she doesn't like chocolate <laughs> she she ends up leaving her job and um, finds herself eating chocolate every single day and is wondering, why is she eating chocolate every day? What is it? Right? Exactly. And now you've guessed it, right? <laughs> of course yeah. you have. Yeah. So you're getting really good at this. So now you'll be able to guess yours as well. So this woman actually was just missing her friends. And there were times when she used to work at Nestle and somehow that craving was just craving for her friends. So instead of the Kit Kat, what'd she do? Text her friends, call, say hi, connect on Facebook, social media. Yeah, exactly. So it, it's very simple. When you know the reason why you're doing something, what does it do for you? So ask yourself, what does that do for you? And once you've, you've found out, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I'm craving. Oh my gosh, I know a different solution that is healthier, maybe that is more serving me and that doesn't consist on any self-sabotage. So stay tuned because we've got even more reasons for self-sabotage. So we've got a few more videos coming. And in the meantime, we can tell you about our events coming, coming up. up. <laughs> so if you want to know more about the Think Yourself Academy and more about self-sabotage, 
So our next event is Saturday, March 24th. It's in the afternoon. It's in Vancouver and it's called Think Yourself Thin. So if you do self-sabotage sometimes, if you do the reverse of what you know you should be doing, um, you're eating well, you're exercising, and yet you can't lose the last 10 pounds. Uh, you feel that if you do lose weight, you gain it back or you always gain weight at, during the holidays. So if there's anything that... Um, you can relate to or if you know anybody who's been on a yo-yo dieting all their life and they want to put an end to this um just send them our way this one is saturday march 24th from 1 to 5 p.m and the next one is super fun um so our next event after that is a personality style uh, type of event so it's all about communication it's all about um, first figuring out what type you are so we've got a personality test uh, that the Think Yourself Academy developed and um, we get to identify which personality style we are what are our strengths what are we good at and how to communicate with people of the other three styles. Um, most, most likely we do have all four styles somehow. And uh, it's really fun. Uh, it's a four hour event. It's on Saturday, April 8. And then you get to figure out what it is that you are, what are your strengths, and then you can figure out what you want to become better at. Is there any of the other profiles that you would rather have more of? And you get to figure out the people in your life, um, your spouse, your kids, your friends, your coworker, your boss, your clients. What style are they? And by figuring out their style, then you can better communicate with them. And then you can find out that everybody's actually able to speak the same right language somehow uh, it's like it's like learning different languages i remember when i was um in greece i was pretty frustrated because i could not understand the language um and and when i go to spain i'm fluent in spanish and i can speak um with with the locals there and it makes such a big difference when i go to france i can speak with the locals there so when you speak the language wow does it ever make a difference so think about that and think about um, how interesting it's going to be. So join us at the um, communication event. So we call it Think Yourself Figured Out, Think Yourself a Communication Pro. Uh, so it's all about finding out what are your strengths um, and figuring yourself out as well at the same time as you can figure out how to communicate with others. All right. So goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. We'll see you again soon.